Hello YouTube land! My name is Andrew from Kestel Cares and today we will be going over a tutorial on how to use the YouTube Keyword Suggestion Tool and the Google AdWords Keyword Tool. This is part of my ultimate guide to YouTube and what we're going to be doing is first opening up a browser, heading over to Google, typing in YouTube Keyword Suggestion Tool and it'll be the first one there. It's under ads.youtube.com front slash keyword tool. To get started, let's look at some of the options. You can tailor your own specific results to a specific language and a specific country. For the purposes of this tutorial, we'll want to keep a default, which is setting it to English and to United States. Let's say you want to do a gameplay and you don't know what keywords to use. Well, let's just enter in a game. Let's, you know, enter in Skyrim. You want to hit get keyword ideas. It'll go through and it'll give you all the keywords here. Now, let's say you want to know exactly how many people are searching for a specific term that you want to target. Switch it up to exact match, and here you can see, for example, there's 22,000 people looking for Skyrim gameplay. There's 196,000 people looking for just the word Skyrim. Skyrim mods, Skyrim theme, etc., etc., Skyrim review. Everything is here for you. So... To get this a little bit more loose in terms of numbers, we can switch this up to phrase and take a look at some of the things that we have. Now, you can actually select here the type, different types of keywords that you'd want to use, whether they are your keywords for your title, like Skyrim Gameplay, and or just things in your description, things that you'd actually want to utilize. These keywords are actually your friends. These are what people are searching for. For example, in your description, you'll want to mention, you know, Skyrim walkthrough. You'll want to mention Skyrim gameplay. You'll want to mention, well, Skyrim by itself. And just see what types of keywords that are in here that you'd actually be able to use. And it's actually, you know, this is important for you guys because keywords, whether in the title, whether in the tags, whether in the description, whether in the annotations, they are your friend and they will help you succeed. It's as simple as that. I mean, people can be searching for Skyrim Funny Moments. If you have, let's say, a specific video with Skyrim Funny Moments, use that in the title, use that in the tags, use that in the description. It's all there for you. And you can see that, you know, 6,300 people are looking for Skyrim Funny Moments without any, you know, quotations or anything. That's awesome, because it will definitely help you out. And I mean, there are tons of keywords, so do utilize this. It will help you out. However, let's say we then want to go to YouTube and, you know, find exactly what somebody is using. So let's go over here. Actually, let's look up Skyrim gameplay. Let's see who's the number one result on this. From a year ago, Skyrim gameplay. The first one is Rydar Games at this moment. So what you want to do is copy the address. This doesn't work all the time, but it does work. So what you want to do is get keyword ideas. And there you have it. These are all the potential keywords that he is using. Now, sometimes this will show up as not enough uh, data, but don't worry, there is data there. So these are the keywords that you'd want to target. This gives you full ideas of what to utilize for your keywords for your Skyrim video. Isn't that great? And this goes over just the YouTube keyword suggestion tool. If you want more interesting and more targeted results, you can switch over to the Google AdWords keyword tool. What you want to do is switch over to Google again, type in Google AdWords keyword tool, and it'll be one of the first options right there. So to get started, we go and enter it in. I won't be signing into my account, so that means that I will have to enter in my dCAPTCHA here. But let's say we are going to be looking for Skyrim gameplay and Skyrim. You'll want to select an exact match. You'll want to then switch over to youtube.com as the website. Don't worry about the category section. You then want to enter in the dCAPTCHA or reCAPTCHA. These are always so very annoyingly hard. I think that's about it. Let's hit search. And there you have it. So these, keep note, are exact match results. They are pertaining to the YouTube.com website. And I mean, seriously, this is how many people are searching for the word Skyrim in on the Google search right now. It's awesome. 
But again, here is a more targeted list of things that you can actually use. For example, Skyrim gameplay, you'd want to use that. If you have a trailer that you created yourself, use it. Create keywords targeted around that. Let's say you even have the Skyrim release date in your description. Use that as one of your tags. System requirements, use that too. People will be able to check your description. They'll be able to actually see it, or if you, especially if you create a specific video related to it, which is awesome. I mean, if you're playing it on the PS3, target this. It's not a really big keyword, but it'll still get you an extra 480 a month if you're in the first place. Well, not necessarily 480 a month, but close to it. And keep in mind, these are exact match. If we were to check phrase, this would be a different story. It would be even higher. So where was that uh, PS3 gameplay? That's 720. So you'd probably still get 500 extra ones a month just for that, and you'd be dominating the results. Just keep that in mind. Skyrim YouTube, for example, and again, these are just extra keyword potentials that you can actually target to increase your search volume. It's as simple as that. Keep in mind that using the keyword suggestion tool from YouTube and the Google AdWords keyword tool, you can brand yourself as an authority, whether it is in your titles, whether it's in your descriptions, whether it's in your tags, or your annotations. All of these will help you target your keywords better and get more search results and search volume. It's as simple as that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little primer on using both of these tools. They are very important and the core of your success. You need a good foundation which requires you to do your keyword research. Whether it's through websites or through YouTube, it's the same thing. Keywords are the core to success. So learn these properly and you will go a long way. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's been useful. Do take a look at some of the other tutorials on this channel. They are going to be helpful for you. Trust me. Just trust me. This is Kestel Cares. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Until next time, keep being awesome.